And even though the first one is an action movie, there's, the relationships are so strong and so tense in some instances that that really gave it like a texture that it's not your average, um, you know, war movie, fighting movie, military movie. It, it was more than just the average military film because of the relationships in it. So the second one deepened those relationships even more. And it almost, I, when I read the second script, I came out of the office thinking, this is a relationship film kind of disguised as an action film. Warlock is someone that actually knows Maverick from back in the day. He was in, in my mind, he was in Maverick's class. He was one of the, he was one of the guys in Maverick's class that you didn't see in the film. Then their paths diverged. Maverick went on to do other things and Warlock stayed on the, the officer track. Warlock was kind of, uh, he was the opposite of Maverick in that he followed the rules. He was a good pilot, I think, but he was, he had ambitions to kind of be in higher positions and he was successful and he became a two-star admiral. And so when they, and they hadn't seen each other in a while by the time the film starts, but their relationship is clear. You still see that they had an affinity for each other. He understands who Maverick is. Joe is a, uh, a big picture guy. So he kind of sets the frame make sure everything is authentic. Like I said, we have the greatest uh, naval advisors you could ask for. And once that's set, he kind of lets the actors do what they do. Um, so you have a lot of freedom within the frame. Because Tom knows so much, he'll come over sometimes and give you a little, little adjustment here and adjustment there because he's worked so closely with them. And like we said before, he flies himself. So he knows, Tom knows so much that he can help you in little moments when you're not sure about the actuality of something or if you're coming off realistically, he can just give you that extra, you know, extra little push, that extra little piece of information to help you feel like you're really a Navy pilot. You know you're in a Jerry Bruckheimer film First of all, because he's a constant presence. Um, not, he doesn't interfere, but he just, he's always there. And it feels, to me, since I've been such a Jerry Bruckheimer movie fan, it's comforting to have him there. And every once in a while, you look over at him and he'll look at you and give you a nod and you feel like, okay, I'm making the man happy. You know, he, he, if he's happy, then that means things are going well. I've literally had five to six pilots come up to me without me asking and say that the original Top Gun made them want to fly, made them want to be pilots. And it made it um, seem so cool and exciting. And also it gave them uh, a way into serving their country, but having it be like exciting and cool at the same time.